it up for you guys tonight. I was uh, thinking I wasn't going to get a chance to get up here, so. Um, good to be here. I'm trying to get my uh, stand-up comedy career going. So naturally, I was like, yeah, let me go perform under a bridge. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm from Croydon. I don't know if uh, you guys, if you've never heard of Croydon, I don't blame you. The only reason I ever heard of it is because I was born there. Um, it's kind of like Philly. Um, we're just a little less aggressive. Like, Philly like people will like cut you off in traffic. Like right in the middle of traffic, they'll just cut you off. I don't care like who you are. Croydon will cut you off like right in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> but like that's about it, you know, it's a little bit more subtle. Um, we have the uh, most bars per square mile of any town in Bucks County. We have the most bars in the state if you count Xanax. <laughs> Yeah, I got some Xanax out there, nice. Um, <clears throat> now, I hate that stat, though, because people hear it and they're like, yeah, it sounds about right, you know, Croydon's just a bunch of angry alcoholics, and it's simply not true. You know, a lot of us are uh, happy, loving, regular alcoholics, you know. We have families and sponsors, just like you guys, you know. We have our ups, our downs, our side and sides, you know. I'd like to see you stumble a mile on our shoes. Uh, I grew up skateboarding. If you don't know what skateboarding is, it's when you get together with your friends, you go to your favorite spot, you huddle up, and you smoke weed. <laughs> it's, uh, not anymore, though. It's an Olympic sport. You gotta be passing drug tests instead of just passing the drugs around, like testing them out. Like, I keep telling them, I'm like, guys, that's not what I meant when I said let's hit the half pipe. You know, like, chill out there, Grand Margera. You know? Like, if I hear you were nose sliding a rail, it better have been in the skate park, you know? Like, this isn't what I thought you meant when you said you needed a sponsor. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm a mortgage banker. Uh, it's my day job as a mortgage banker. I, um, it makes me seem like a creep sometimes, though, because whenever I meet somebody, I'm always trying to get them alone. Uh, sometimes we... Uh, we, uh, we hit it off, we have mutual interests. You know, sometimes we don't hit it off. And they just have, like an introductory rate, they just have like no interest. Uh, finance joke's not doing it for you? now. I'm just having a little fun, guys. It's no big deal. Um, I had a lot of abortion jokes for you guys, but I ended up not keeping any of them. They were barely developed anyway. You weren't ready for them anyway. I, uh, you guys ever notice how um, jobs, they started hiring like car dealerships now, like used car salesmen, they'll be like, you go to a job interview, they're like, good job history, bad job history, no job history, no problem at all. Come on down, bring your state issued ID, feel like your first day paperwork, leave on our schedule today. <laughs> Nobody gets turned down. I'm like, yeesh, a little desperate, I don't know if I wanna work here. Um, let's see, uh, my brother's a car guy, any car guys? I, uh, it's, it's fine if you're a car guy. I just never know if he's talking about driving his car or if he's talking about banging his wife. He'll be like, you should have heard me last night. I was slamming it from reverse. I had that bitch screaming. <laughs> Smelled like a burnt rubber. That's my time, guys. Thanks a lot.